Hello everyone, it's me again, Mama Marielle, and welcome to my channel. Okay, so for this video, meron tayong bagong tutorials, which is, I'm going to discuss to you, um, the arithmetic sequence. Okay, as you can see, um, on the screen, we have the arithmetic sequence. What do you mean by arithmetic sequence? So, an arithmetic sequence is a sequence in which every term after the first term is the sum of the preceding term and the fixed number called the common difference of the sequence okay so in dealing with arithmetic sequence we have the formula that we're going to use later on kapag magbigay na ako ng example so you better watch it out okay and panoorin mo to upang mas matuto ka pa with regards in this matter this is for grade 10 students and of course open na open yung channel ko sa mga nag advanced study so Ayun, panoorin nyo to. So, the formula that we're going to use is we have the a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Okay? Wherein, yung a sub n daw natin is the nth term of the sequence. Okay? Then, the a sub 1 is the first term of the sequence. D is the common difference, and N is for the number of term from A sub 1 to N. Okay, so for example, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on and so forth. Okay, so, so sabi dito, N term of the sequence. Ang A sub N is yung kung anong term ang hahanapin natin. And of course, A sub 1, sabi dito, is the first term of the sequence, meaning to say, ito si A sub 1. And si common difference, ano ba kapag sinabing common difference? So, ganito, we are going to um, subtract the second term to the first term, enable for us to find the common difference. Again, subtract the second term to the first term. So, 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. Ayan. And of course, 6 minus 4 is also equal to 2. 8 minus 6 is also equal to 2. So, yun yung sinasabing common difference. Yung mga pagitan nila, okay? So, dapat ay pare-parehas. In case na hindi siya maging pare-parehas, like for example, ito ay naging 9, meaning to say 9 minus 6 is 3, hindi yun arithmetic sequence, Okay? Ang arithmetic sequence lang na sinasabi is yung merong common difference or pare-parehas na difference. Okay, so meron din tayong tinatawag na arithmetic series. Okay, so an arithmetic series is the sum of an arithmetic sequence or yung pinagsama-sama na na arithmetic sequence. Okay, so meron tayong dalawang formula na ginagamit sa arithmetic series sa pagkuha ng sum. Okay, um, we have S sub N is equal to N over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. Hindi lang yan, no? Dalawa yung formula natin na pwede natin gamitin, okay? So, we have s sub n is equal to n sub 2 um, times 2 times a sub 1 again plus n minus 1 times d. So, kung napapansin nyo, mas mahaba yung ating um, formula number 2. So, maalin naman dyan. Depende sa given and depende sa kung ano yung gusto nyo gamitin, Okay? Pero, of course, magbabase pa rin tayo sa given. So, katulad lang din ng kanina sa arithmetic sequence. Okay, so take a look at this example number 1. We have 1, 5, 9, and 13. And also, we're going to look for a sub 10. So, hanapin daw natin si a sub 10. What formula are we going to use? The arithmetic sequence formula. So, we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Okay? So, lagyan muna natin siya ng label. Char. So, we have a sub 1 is equal to, alin ba yung a sub 1 natin? Again, a sub 1 is the first term. So, we have 1. Ito siya, a sub 1. And of course, ang ating n, syempre, ano ba yung hinahanap natin? <laughs> Si a sub 10. So, meaning to say, n is equal to 10. Tama? And of course, our common difference, how are we going to find the common difference? Again, we're going to subtract the second term to the first term. So, we have 5 minus 1 is equal to 
4. So, our common difference is 4. Okay, so, ganun lang kasimple maglagay ng label. Char, send all my label. <laughs> okay, going back, ilagay na natin siya sa formula. So, we're going to find the a sub 10 is equal to, our a sub 1 is 1 plus, ang ating n is, of course, 10 minus 1 times 4. Tama? Okay, so, next um, step is to simplify the equation. Okay, so, 1 plus 10 minus 1, of course, we have 9 times 4. Okay, so, simplify lang hanggang sa makuha yung sagot. 1 plus 9 times 4 is equal to 36. Meaning to say, a sub 10 is equal to 37. Okay, so patunayan natin na si a sub 10 is equal to 37, okay? So, we have 1, 5, 9, 13, plus 4. Plus 4 lang tayo ng plus 4, no? Kasi yung common difference natin is 4. So, plus 4, 17, plus 4 is 21, plus 4 is 25, Plus 4 is 29, plus 4 is 33, plus 4 is 37. Okay, yan, 37 daw, no? Same na sila. Tingnan natin kung A sub 10 ba yun. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so napatunayan na natin na C A sub 10 is equal to 37. So instead na mag ganito tayo, ano? So meron tayong formula na gagamitin. Ang mahalaga lang ay kabisado natin yung formula ni arithmetic sequence. Okay? So, we have example number 2. We have 13, 9, 5, 1, and so on. And also, we're going to find the a sub 10. So, maglagay lang muna ulit tayo ng label. We have a sub 1 as 13. We have n since 10 yung hinahanap natin or si a sub 10, so our n is equal to 10 and of course, our common difference is, we have 9 minus 13 is equal to negative 4, so ilagay na natin sa formula, 10 is equal to a sub 1 which is 13 plus our n is 10 minus 1 times negative 4. Alright? So, we have 13 plus 10 minus 1 is equal to 9, of course, times negative 4. Okay? 13 plus 9 times negative 4. O, oh, wag nyong iiwanan si negative ba? Malulungkot yan. Okay. So, we have negative 36. Tama? Okay. So, para mas madali mo siyang masimplify, so, i-copy mo lang si 13. Then, positive times negative is equal to negative 36. Tama? 13 minus 36 is equal to negative 23. So, our a sub 10 is equal to negative 23. Okay, patunayan natin na a sub 10 is equal to negative 23 nga. So, we have 13, 9, 5, 1, Okay, so we are just going to add negative 4. Since kapag pabalik kasi ay subtract, diba? So 1 minus 5, negative 4, tama? And kapag hahanapin naman natin yung hinahanap na term sa ganitong paraan, we're just going to add the common difference, okay? So 1 plus negative 4 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus negative 4 is negative 7. Negative 7 plus ne negative 4 is negative 11. And negative 11 plus negative 4 is negative 15. Negative 15 plus negative 4 is negative 19. And negative 19 plus negative 4 is negative 23. Alright, so... Ayan na, 23 siya. Tama, ba? So, bilangin natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, ganun lang kasimple ang paggamit ng arithmetic 
sequence. Okay, so our next example is a word problem. Find the fifth term. Ito daw yung hahanapin natin. Fifth term and eleventh term. Dalawang term. Of the arithmetic sequence with the first term, 3, and the common difference, 4. Alright, so what are we going to do first? Ilagay muna natin yung mga given na nabanggit doon sa word problem, yung mga given. So, sabi dito, we have first term, 3. So, automatically, it is a sub 1 is equal to 3. And the common difference is equal to 4. Tama. And, of course, we are going to find a sub 5 or the fifth term missing. And, of course, a sub 11. So, hanapin natin yan. Okay. So, we're going to put it in a formula. Unahin muna natin si a sub 5. Siyempre, hindi naman kasi pwedeng pagsabay-sabayin. <laughs> so, we have a sub n or a sub 5 is equal to a sub 1 is 3 plus our n is also 5 kasi si 5 yung hinahanap natin or yung the fifth term minus 1 times the common difference is 4 tama so we have 3 plus 5 minus 1 is 4 times 4 so 3 plus 4 times 4 is 16 ayan nagkamali is 16 and 3 plus 16 is equal to 19. So, our a sub 5 is 19. Tama. And since nahanap na natin si a sub 5, hanapin naman natin si a sub 11. So, we have a sub 11 is equal to 3 plus 11 minus 1 times 4. Okay, so 3 plus 10 times 4 is equal to 3 plus 40. So, 43 is our A sub 11. So, moving on to another word problem. Find the 9th term and the sum. Okay, hahanapin na natin yung sum. Sa so, una, si 9th term. Of the first... 9 terms of the arithmetic sequence with a sub 1 is equal to negative 2 and d is equal to 5 or the common difference. So, a sub 1 is equal to negative 2 and common difference is equal to 5. So, ang hahanapin na daw natin first is the 9 term. So, our n is equal to 9. Tama? So, we have a sub 9 is equal to negative 2 plus we have n minus 1 times the common difference is 5. So, we have negative 2 plus 9 minus 1 is 8 times 5. Okay, negative 2 plus 8 times 5 is 40. Then, negative 2 plus 40. Since, kung napapansin nyo, magkaiba sila ng sign. So, we're going to subtract it. 40 minus 2 is 38. Tama? Since, si 40 yung pinak the higher number, siya yung pinakamataas kay 2. And si 40 is positive, that's why the answer will be also positive 38. So, siya si A sub 9. Okay. A sub 9 is equal to 38. The next that we're going to do is to find the sum of the first nine terms. So, gagamitin na natin si arithmetic series formula. Ano? So, again, we have the formula of arithmetic series. We have S sub N. S sub N is equal to N over 2 times A sub 1 plus A sub N. Ang hahanapin natin is the sum of the first nine terms since nahanap na natin si nine term. So, we have 9 over 2 since si n is equal to 9 okay a sub 1 is negative 2 plus a sub n uh, as you can see our a sub n is 38 diba so ayan we have 9 divided by 2 is equal to 4.5 
and negative 2 plus 38 as you can see again um, since they have unlike sign so we're going to subtract 38 to 2 so we have 36 positive 36 why is it positive 36 because the higher number is 38 dito sa dalawa pinakamata si 38 and 38 is positive that's why the answer will be positive also rule of integers okay so dapat alam din natin yung rule of integers so we have 4.5 times 36 is equal to 162 Ayan. So, 162 ang ating um, sum ng the first nine terms. So, di ba kanina, dalawa yung formula na pinresent ko kay arithmetic series. Okay. So, try naman natin gamitin yung isa pang formula. Okay. So, the second formula, we have S sub N is equal to N over 2 bracket 2 times A sub 1 plus N minus 1 times d. Tama? Okay. So, itong formula naman na to is gagamitin natin if the only available na given is itong tatlo. Sa formula na to, hindi na natin kailangan pang hanapin si ninth term. Basta given na yung tatlong to. Okay? So, we have n over 2. We have 9 over 2. 2 times a sub 1. Ang a sub 1 natin is negative 2. Plus 9 minus 1. Since n is equal to 9. Times the common difference is 5. Alright. So 9 over 2. Okay, so we're going to simplify. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Plus 9 minus 1 is 8. Times 5. Alright. So, we have 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. Negative 4 plus 8 times 5. 8 times 5 is equal to 40. Alright, so 4.5 times negative 4 plus 40. Kagaya nga na palagi kong sinasabi, the rule of integers, dapat alam natin. So, we have unlike sign, negative and positive. And we're going to subtract 40 to 4. Then, the, the answer will be... 36. But why, why is it positive again? Because the higher number is 40. And of course, the sign of the higher number is positive. That's why the answer will be also positive. Okay, so 4.5 times 36 is equal to 162. Okay, so S sub 9 is equal to 162. Okay, as you can see, parehas lang ba sila? Are they the same? Yes, they are the same. Kasi parehas naman natin pwedeng gamitin yung formula ni arithmetic series. And thank you so much everyone for watching. I hope you have learned something from this video. And of course, huwag mo kalimutang mag-subscribe. I-hit mo na din ang notification bell. Like and comment for suggestions. And any math topics na pwede nyong um, isuggest para gawa natin ng tutorial. Um, magbabasa ako ng mga comment box. Diyan, sa baba, and sana pinanood nyo to para mas matuto kayo in regards with mathematics. So, yun lang. Um, thank you so much, everyone. God bless us all. And see you on my next tutorial with Mamariel. Music